It's been almost one year since 11-year-old Daniel Cook was killed in a school bus accident on his way to school. And today, the bus driver behind the wheel, formally charged with vehicular manslaughter, received her sentence. On your side's Karen Lair was inside the courtroom and has the details. Her grief is deep. It is vast. It is all-consuming at times and overwhelming very often. The family of 11-year-old Daniel Cook is still grieving the loss of their son and brother after he was killed on his way to Crimson Point Elementary School December 5th, 2013. Daniel's death was unnecessary and avoidable. 57-year-old Deborah Boatwright was driving the school bus when she failed to yield at the intersection of Happy Valley and Deer Flat Road. A dump truck struck the rear right side of the bus, killing Cook. When those kids were on my bus, they were my kids. And I would never knowingly have done anything that might cause harm to any of them at any time. We can't change what happened December 5th, 2013. Kenya County Judge Gerald W. Lee suspended Boatwright's driver's license, applied a $2,000 fine, and sentenced Boatwright to 200 hours of community service and a year of jail time with all but 30 days suspended. During the hearing, Boatwright offered a tearful apology to the Cook family. It is very clear to me what a horrible loss this has been to your family and to any whose lives he might have touched. And from the core of my very being, I am so sorry for your loss. Karen Laird, Today 6 on your side.